I'm not upside down. What's going on here? It's definitely upside down. <laughs> Right, the sides could be loose. The center. Yeah. Let's see what we got going on. Well, I'll put it down on YouTube if I ever pass. What up? I'm trying to pull up the chat. So uh, give me a second here. So Matt gave me the bright idea because I have my personal phone and I tried doing everything off my personal phone. So now I'm just running the camera off my phone <laughs> and then I'm managing the stream uh, off the work phone. So that's a genius. Because I tried this for so long last week and it didn't work. And hopefully this will, will now work. So let's see here. I don't even have, uh, <laughs> I don't even have, um, this set up on my phone here, so hold on. <laughs> All right. So this is a, this is a 720 stream. Hold on. Nice. Okay. So at least I can read your, your chats now. I can't hear you because I don't have a computer, but um, I can definitely see you now. So this is nice. Perfect. Let me see what happens if I turn it off. Let's turn it back on. All right, cool. Cool. Well, we got a few people in here. All right, guys, so today, um, this is my, this is garage number one, I guess. This is the DSP garage. Um, we're going to be doing, um, we're going to be testing a Ford Transit Connect. We're going to be doing the windshield and the doors. Um, so, yay. I'm bringing this phone and this phone and this charger. And this charger is charging the battery. And then let me think what the hell else do I need probably could use like a table of some sort I'm gonna move some of this out here I'm gonna use this uh, digital storm computer box as a makeshift table I have a table upstairs but I didn't grab it so
So I just need a place to put the phones, especially mine, because I gotta charge it. My kid was watching it, and it's connected the, uh, the GoPro. Uh, so if you guys can't tell, now we have two garages. That's why I use. That's why I manufacture DSP and do all kinds of other stuff. But I can't fit a car in there. So I was taught, and they wanted to charge like fifty dollars for like a vehicle, and I'm like. Uh, the apartment complex wants to charge me $50 for a vehicle because it's a commercial vehicle. So I was like, I could just get a garage for that price. And it happened to be that the garage next door to mine was available. So I picked it up. And by the way, this is the new mobile van right here. Um, so we're going to be doing everything, mostly everything. We want to do mostly mobile. Um, and we're going to be working out of, off of this garage, this shop here. I'm going to be putting a partition in the van. And then I'm um, setting up some shelving and whatnot so that we can uh, get the whole mobile set here. This garage, I figured I'd kill two birds with one stone because this garage can be used if in the event that like I have a client who wants to work with me but doesn't have an enclosed garage, um, then they can have the option to drop it off to me here and then I can work it on, on this garage. This garage isn't, isn't huge, but it's manageable, it's doable. So, um, so yeah, see, so we got the uh, solar effects uh banners up and then i have the new sun solutions banner up right there and then i have a a feather banner right back there that i'll put up 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 uh just outside here just to let people know what i'm doing and what i'm working on uh, but yeah this is the new mobile unit guys she's uh she's a 2020 ford transit connect um she's a beauty i love her she this is like phenomenal i didn't think i didn't think i'd be able to I gave myself like a 70% chance that I was going to get declined on this, on this loan. <laughs> and they're like, you're approved. I'm like, wow. Okay, let's do it. So this is it. Um, like I said, you guys don't have to do a work fan. You guys don't have to get, you don't have to get a new work fan. Uh, I just, I want to shoot and see. I had the option to get a used work, a used work fan. But the problem was, is that that was it. I'd be paying for the van and that's it. With a new work van, uh, I get warranties. I have, I have coverage up to six years of the term of the loan. I have coverage on the tires and, and, and a number of different things, engine, transmission. It's all covered um, by the dealer when you buy brand new. So that was one of the, one of the pushing factors of me being able to go ahead and uh, make the decision to buy brand new. Also, this... Uh, it just looks more professional when I'm going to be go running out and, and uh, tinting people's cars, especially if I'm going to be charging, you know, the premium prices I'm going to charge. I want to look like a million bucks when I roll up there. Uh, if I roll up in my 2012, uh, not 2012, yeah, it is 2012. No, yeah, 2012 Kia Rio. It's just, it, it doesn't exude like, oh, I'm, gonna, I'm about to pay this guy $700 and his door handles are peeling. So I'm going to keep this up here. Custom Z, Z Customs, what's up, man? Good morning, good morning, congratulations. Thank you, sir, thank you, appreciate it. I am uh, I am monitoring it live. So I don't have you guys in my ears, but I am monitoring it. So if you guys have any questions, concerns, feel free to drop it into the chat and I will get to it eventually, I promise you. Um, so what we're gonna be doing today is that we're gonna be tinting it because I can't drive a fishbowl. So I'm gonna be doing 15 on the sides and then I'm going to put 30 across the front. A buddy of mine has a Connect. I think the same body style, maybe a couple years young, uh, older. And he did 5% and 30. And he said the 5% was way too dark. So I'm going to go with his. I'm going to go and trust him. Considering we're going to put 30 on the windshield, I'm going to go ahead and put 15 on here. And of course, we're going to be using the, um, the FX Plus, right? So the top of the line, highest heat rejection. Um, and all the goods, the best, top of the line, top of the line stuff that I have. So let's go ahead and uh, get going here. Measuring tapes, measuring tape. I don't know why I have so many goddamn measuring tapes. My thing will leave right here. All right, first of all, 
what I want to do, I don't want to take this phone too far away because I don't want to lose the connection here. What I want to do is I want to turn the van around because I don't like facing the door because it's going to, I can get a gust of wind and things of that nature. If I face back here, it's a little bit harder for the wind to get going. Oh, and I don't have the key. It's not unlocked. Oh, done. It's another cool thing about this car is that they have a phone app and I can, I can unlock, lock, and start the vehicle wherever I am. So I just hit the unlock through the app. It takes like 30 seconds. Done. Unlocked. Also, this is really cool. So the 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 meter the the signs are on inside, not the signs, the, the air is on inside, right? So one of the, probably one of my most favorite features is this has an auto start on it. And then the auto start will determine if it's hot or cold outside and then do the opposite on the inside of the cab. So if it's in the middle of the summer and it's 100 degrees, it'll know it's hot outside, so it'll blow cold air automatically. And if it's cold outside, let's say it's 40 degrees, it'll start pumping out hot air. So then that way, it's nice and comfy when I get in. So this thing is really cool. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead, get in here. And we're just gonna go ahead and turn it around. Turn that off for now. I am excited. It's weird though, right? I'm excited that I can finally get this like live stream going. I did it like an hour last last week, and it wouldn't like it wouldn't connect my thing. I, oh, I was so frustrated. So frustrated. All right. Now we're turned around. So I have plenty of space here, and I'll go ahead and work on uh, the windshield. I'll do the windshield first, and then what I'll do is I will turn the car back around, because if I'm facing the door, I like the doors to open like that. That way I, I don't get, if wind comes, it hits the outside of the door, it doesn't hit the inside. So, also what I want to do is I want to go ahead and close this door because I got a lot of random stuff in here and I don't want anyone getting in here I think I'm going to switch you guys to my head too Hold on. it'd probably be helpful too if I grab the film <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna need an extension because there's not enough plugs to plug both of those in and then also plug a heat gun. So I'm gonna need one of these as well. And then Carbon FX, that's our color stable. Let's see here. IRFX is our first line of ceramic FX plus this is the goods 15 5 uh, we're gonna need the 30 we need the 30 for the front windshields let's just bring it in here Next thing too is I need freaking lighting in here. And it's gonna be okay, it'll be fine, but it could be better. And there's a light switch too, so I guess I could just, hold on, let's see. Bam! You know what I could do too is I could switch that light, that's a very warm light, I could, I could switch it for a much brighter, much cooler light. 
let's put this in here. The joys of like streaming, right? I gotta figure out all this stuff on top of freaking tinting the cars and shit. <laughs> okay, so that's in. Let me, uh, let me switch you guys to my head. I feel like the head really is a lot better, in my opinion. I'm gonna stop saying in my opinion because if you guys didn't like my opinion, then you guys wouldn't be watching my shit, right? good that is oh I'm trying to keep minimum amount and I hope you guys can tell the difference because uh, I don't think that's bad you guys can't see my bill Hold on, I'm gonna put this right in front of my face. It takes about 20 seconds to catch up, so I'm gonna see if the, if I'm looking at this, is this in the middle of the screen? Let's see. Come on, and then you're gonna look at this for 20 seconds. Yeah, that's basically in the middle of the screen. All right, good, good. Z Customs, that's why that's why you're built for this. <laughs> that's right, baby. All right, now I'm in here. Still good. Yep. And the 15s for the doors. Everything else, I think I'm good. So I'm gonna go ahead and lock that other one. I don't think I need anything else in here. I wanna throw some PPF, maybe not on here, but I definitely wanna throw some PPF on the, uh, the front headlights. And the plan is, I don't know how long it's gonna take, but the plan is I'm gonna get some work and then um, and then um, get her wrapped. So Carrie's working on a wrap right now. It's gonna be sick, I can't wait. I gotta get my other tank set up. I still have it upstairs in my office. Technically, we're not working right now. This is just this is just just me tinting my car. Take the chest piece off. That way I can chill a little bit. Move this box. It's not so much in my way. I'm really excited about this because 
This film is hands down the best film I've ever put on any of my vehicles ever. I've got my hands on good film before, but this the, the specs on this film on the FX Plus blows everything that I've used away. Everything. Like, I have Pinnacle on my windshield and this stuff blows Pinnacle away. I think Pinnacle is like 64% heat rejection and I can't remember off the top of my head, but this is like in the 97%, like in IR rejection, uh, which is pretty solid. What do I need? Toolbox out. Well, I legit like don't have any. Um, I don't have any paper towels. Um, microfiber towels. I don't have any. Nope, I don't. But I have trash bags in there. Don't worry, I have plenty of paper towels. Now hopefully, my phone is right there that's connected to the GoPro, so hopefully moving over here is not gonna disconnect it. I need another one of these shelvings so that I can, uh, so that I can uh, um, put all my auto stuff. Here's all the warranty claims all the warranty information stuff that I'll give to clients. And then look what I got. All the towels we need. I would prefer to wash these first, but since I forgot, I'm a dummy. I just like when I take first take these out, I like to give them a little pop, a little flap. Pop. Like that. Just helps. Alright. Let's get some old DSP out. So we're about a half an inch past this dots. When you do lighter films, you can get close to the dots and hell, even if you're at 80, you can even miss the dot. I mean, not overlap it altogether. Um, but when you do darker films, 30%, hell, even some 50%, you have to, you have to be mindful of making sure that you're covering the gaps fully or else, or else it'll be uh, no good for you. Cause then you'll see a light gap and then they'll bother the hell out of you. And bother the hell out of me. I see a little bit, but I gotta... I don't use this, uh dry shrink applicator a lot. So sometimes, sometimes you gotta get like a little primed up. You know what I mean? Cause it's just st straight dry. My other DSP applicator that I use at the shop in Lutz, um, hell I use that thing five, six times a day. There we go. Now I'm seeing a nice little glaze. There it is. There we go. I can see a little bit of a glaze, but uh, I like to have it, I like it to be a little bit more pronounced. DSP applied. Let's check, let's check the comments here. Let's see if there's anything here. Nope. Oh, there's some comments. Daniel Reno with the ten dollars super chat. Appreciate it, Daniel. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you very much, sir. 
Good morning, y'all. Window tinting life. What's up? Every day, all day, window tinting life. That's right, baby. Even though I have 49 years of experience, I enjoy watching anyone tinting. Still learning, baby. Hurrah. That's what's up. That's what's up. Thank you, Daniel Rain. I appreciate it. Uh, I heard solar effects fades fast. Uh, no, this, these are all color stable films. So, uh, if, uh, if they faded fast, I wouldn't be betting my, uh, my professional career on them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I use Johnson's Renegade in Marathon. Anyone else see solar effects, FX years last? Uh, solar faces and nano ceramic should not fade. Dyed film fades even if they have color stabilizers in it. Okay. I like Johnson's. I used Johnson's for the first first two years of my career. I used I went the first shop I ever worked at, legit worked at, was at uh, in Alabama, and they used Johnson's. I like Johnson's. Not that bad. All right, let's go ahead back to it. Let's see, here is the 30%. Now I have 60 rolls, chopped down 20, uh, 40, 20. See here? Uh, so I'm gonna be using this 40 roll because uh, imagine, imagine I get a freaking film that's more than 40 inches, imagine. I mean, I, I imagine I get a car that's a windshield that's more than 40 inches. I keep forgetting shit. See, this is what happens when you, uh, when you just like open up things and get shit settled. I thought I grabbed this. This is, I had, a, I had two right here and I thought I put it, maybe I did leave it over there. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, I did. I'm a dummy. It's right here. It was underneath the shit. All right, let's see. No, we're good. So the 40 inches is gonna cover this. 40 inches covers most. Most. And I say about 65. It's 60. And then I'll add a few more inches. Try again. I just want to go with the fat side. Yeah, it's just 60. Let's go. So let's pull it 62. This is going to be interesting. I need a 40 inch box so I can cut this shit out. Oh my God, going back and forth, back and forth. I need a 40 inch box. Perfect. Take the film out of here. I'm gonna go ahead and use this box. So then that way I can, I can measure out on this box so we're not gonna have a problem. Cause this, the 60 inch box is just a little, I don't know, a little much. Right. So originally this was a 60 incher that got chopped down into 40 inches, right? So true factory edge is on this side, the side that didn't get cut. So if you guys ever want to keep track on a, on a true factory edge, where well you keep an eye on it. I'll save this one. Do like that, put it right here. This one right here. Okay. 
can I fit this on here? This would be interesting. Nice. It's like perfect. This guy screwed in, screwed into the uh, concrete. All right. 20 inches I can handle. I can just handle. But like 40 inches are a little bit more. And I want to make sure that, um, that we're all good. Okay, what did I say? 63 inches? 64 inches? It's 59, and I'll give it to about 63. 63, so let's go. 63, half of 63 is 31 and a half. Let's go 32. Oh, we go 64. Hold on. Sixty-four. Now that's sixty-four from here. So this is another two inches that might be like sixty-six. So let's bring it up to sixty-two. Yeah. All right. Nice. Let's see which way the liner is. All right, so the liner's on the outside, which I prefer. Like, I've been working with Lumar for years now, and the shit on the inside is like, it's obnoxious. So I'm gonna bring this all the way down here, and now I have the width. So this shelf, I didn't even put the shelf in here, but it's actually, um, it's actually pretty good, good timing, uh, or good luck that it was in here. Wow, I just got a paper cut, oh. Mm, I didn't get a paper cut, but it was like real sharp. Don't slide your hand on fresh film. So I am now rolling it film side out, not liner side out. And I'm doing that so that when I unroll it, it's just gonna unroll naturally, and you'll see what I'm saying. Boom. Okay, I really did cut myself. Very tiny, but it's okay. So now let's just double check. Yep. So film side's out right now when I roll it like this. So in that way, when I unroll, it's just gonna unroll that way. Just like that. What I like to do is, you see up here, the film is like touching the corner, the top corner. And since I don't wanna walk to the other side, what I'll do is I'll just eyeball it, make sure that the film is touching the other corner up there, boom like that, and then we're good. Tack her down. I need my brake box. Film. This film seems thick, which isn't bad. I don't mind it. Did the wiper go down further? It did. So I just wanna. So I can't wait to get a plotter because like a plotter it would already be cut I'd just be shrinking right now so some people 
Some people debate whether a plotter is good or not, but more efficient, less efficient. I think, I think for doors, I think it's going to be, it's a different story. I think doors, I, some cats can just, just cut them out with the best of them. Um, but when you're talking about front windshields and back windshields, I think that's where you start. I think a plotter definitely saves time in that regard. So exciting too, because then you guys get to see me shrink with the film for the first time. I've never shrunk with this film. I don't know how it is. All right, looking good so far. Before I get started on heat shrinking, let me check here, see if there's any questions. Oh. I'm not gonna etch the glass. <laughs> hey, listen, if you if you keep three blades out, keep the angle real low, and cut enough to cut the film and not put a lot of pressure on the glass, you won't etch it. Promise you. Could you potentially etch the glass? Absolutely. Absolutely. Three blades out. That's my key right there. Three blades out. If you go three blades out and if you're going one blade and you're going hard and up here, yeah, you'll etch that glass. I've seen people do it. If you go three blades out, four blades and the blade starts to get wobbly. So that's why I say three blades. Three blades is still, is still a solid blade. There's not much wobble in it. So you're not going to get inconsistencies when you're cutting, but also, Keep the blade low, the angle low. The guys that etch glass are right here. It's putting a lot of pressure on that point. Keep it down low. I mean, you're right, you could etch the glass. I, I definitely could etch the glass, but. <sighs> right precautions, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah. There's always gonna be a little bit of like a learning curve, especially when you're switching films. And more so with the shrink. There's a learning curve with the shrink. But I can't be too I can't baby it too much, you know what I mean? Just gotta do my thing. Like I always do. Very nice. All right. That's beautiful. That's beautiful right there. Um, first initial thoughts, because don't forget, I've been a Lumar guy for years, right? Um, it doesn't shrink as easily, like Lumar shrinks like butter, right? That's probably one of the best parts about Lumar. Um, so it does take a little bit more heat, but that's with most films. Um, this feels like this feels like a shrink that like most films do. 
What I'm really excited about is that this film scratch coating is so much better. So I'm super, super excited. But, uh, but yeah, I think it shrinks just fine. It shrinks the way it's supposed to. And it might actually seem like it's taking a little longer to shrink than a normal, but I'm not using that, that Porter cable gun I'm using that I use at the shop. That thing's a fucking beast. That thing just cranks out air. So, uh. That's good. I don't know if y'all saw that, but right there I put a little crease in it and I just lifted the film back up and, uh, and I laid that puppy right back down. No problem. Same thing right here. A little heat and drop right back down. When you're always working with a new film, you always, because I know the limits I can push on, on the Lumar film that I've been using, right? I don't know the limits. I mean, I'm sure this film can take a while, can take a beating. But I'm just trying to take it nice and easy. I just can't rush it, you know? Just gotta let the film shrink and go from there. Okay. Yeah, that's good. I think I was babying it. Because number one, this is my baby. <laughs> and number two, it's like the first time shrinking on this film. So I think I was just taking. I was just taking too much of time. Just fucking do it, you know what I mean? Nice. Look at this this angle, so I can go a little bit further out this way and spread the shrink out.
I always like keeping it just a little long on the top. I used to mess film up like you wouldn't believe and it was always at the top. And being able to pull the film really, really helps. One little guy right there. Stretching a bit here. Pass the line. Looks like we're good here. You know what I'm probably gonna do, which I should do because I'm a professional and I have all the fucking tools I need, I'm gonna go get my goddamn bench. That way I can stand up on the fucking thing. I'm stretching and I don't need a stretch. This is a, what is this? This is a Werner. It's like Home Depot has one and then and then uh, Lowe's has the other. I don't remember who does whose. I'm gonna move this. Move this shit down that way. There we go. Um, but these benches are amazing. These benches are amazing, especially if you have, um, if you get like, like that client that has that huge fucking dually truck that he wants the windshield done and it's like raised and shit. Like that's a lot of work going up and down, up and down, up and down. So I got two sets of these. That way I don't have to carry the bench back and forth when I do get that big dually. But the only thing is that these aren't as low profile as I like. The legs fold out and then they, like it's like this twice as thick here. Like you have this thickness and then you have the legs. I got these ones at Lowe's, but the ones at Home Depot, they they lay flat, so they're they're a little bit easier to stack on. Um, and normally, I wouldn't pay normal price for them, but if you wait for Black Friday, these are normally like I think a hundred bucks a pop. But Black Friday, these go on sale for like fifty bucks a pop, half off, which is solid. Ah, see, this is much better. And get a better angle. Everything.
I should have left more at the top, especially in these corners right here. Oh, don't crease it. Don't crease it. Last chance. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. That 30 is going to look good. This over here. And then I need my light. I'm like not prepared for any of this shit, clearly. Jay Bird, what's going on, man? What's, what's going on? Oh my land, land of the blind. <laughs> Try to be a little bit more optimistic than pessimistic. You're gonna, you're gonna etch the glass. You're gonna fucking hit the thing with the thing. It's not gonna slip. Easy. All right, guys, I gotta go get my light, which is in my car, so I'll be right back. And I gotta leave this here because it'll disconnect from my phone, so. 39%, here we go. And I'm back. Let's see what we got here. All right, let's see. All right, let's see if we're square. I think we're good. Just checking. Uh, I don't know. Hold on. Low, low. Low, low. Sorry, there's a 20 second delay, so I, I can't see what it looks like until. Um, until I see it and then it's 20 seconds. There's 17 people in the live stream. What's going on y'all? What's going on? Welcome to the live stream guys So what I've been doing is I've been sporadically like going through our sponsors for the stream and the live stream and and everything um, Instead of like doing it at the very beginning because I feel like that's obnoxious and then it's good uh, Bryson what's going on man? Welcome. Welcome to the live stream brother. So, uh, so we do have a couple sponsors on the, a few sponsors on the channel. So I like to give them their just, just rewards here and give them their shout outs because obviously without the sponsors, um, this wouldn't be as easy as a, you know, without them. So 
This live stream is sponsored in part by TintWiz. TintWiz is a CRM suite designed for window tinters. From acquisition to invoicing and everywhere in between, you can run your business more efficiently and more profitably with TintWiz. Make sure to check it out at tintwiz.com. You can also download it for iOS and Android as well. Don't forget your free 30 day trial at sign up. So super easy, sign up. All you really need is your email and you set up a password and you are done. You are set up with TintWiz. And TintWiz is what we're using to run, um, TintWiz is what we're using to run Sun Solutions Tinting. So, uh, so I am not only am I sold on them, but I'm also a customer. <laughs> I'm gonna head set up here. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, no, it's too low. Okay, so Fords have like this like foam padding underneath here, and it's a huge fucking pain in the ass sometimes. Like you got, but like the dot matrix is above it. Sometimes the dot matrix is below it, and it's a fucking nightmare. See, and this is why I like a plotter, because especially for front windshields, back windows, um the shrink is over right now i'd be cleaning and installing but now i gotta take my time to can cut this thing perfect so This is a pretty thick film. And you'll see me constantly breaking blades so that I ensure that I don't scratch the glass, right? Fresh blade is solid. It's the dull blades that'll fuck your shit up. I'm just cutting an eighth of an inch outside. That gives me a full quarter of an inch all the way around. God, I love this car. And we spent a lot of time in here, so I figured I might as well love it, right? Ah, there we go. Also, this live stream is sponsored in part by Dry Shrink Prep. Dry Shrink Prep is the healthy alternative to dryer sheets. I spent years using dryer sheets and then the, just the, the downside of dryer sheets with links to cancer, neurological problems, breathing problems, and a number of other things. I, I went out searching for a better alternative and I could not find it. So I developed Dry Shrink Prep. Dry shrink prep is made up of 100% all natural ingredients. Uh, it produces a very similar, if not the same, glaze as a, uh, as a dryer sheet on the glass. It's obviously, it's dry shrink prep, right? So what is it for? Dry shrinking. So um, it's phenomenal. I, once I, I made it and I started using it a year ago and I haven't looked back since. Um, I'm in it for the long term and the long haul and I don't know God knows What kind of shit could, is in dryer sheets and I don't want to I mean I know it's all like nastiness So I don't want to deal with it. So for more information you guys can check out dryshrinkprep.com And where is my break box? There it is uh, Dryshrinkprep.com we also that's where you can go ahead and check out some more videos and get some answers questions answered And you can also purchase there as well for those of you guys a part of the channel, you guys can put in code, um, what is it? WTB, window tending business. So WTB online for a 15% off code. That's for y'all. I don't mention that very often. I probably should. Should probably mention it more. Right. Now I'm gonna go this here. Kind of this way.
Yeah, plotters are much faster. <laughs> And land of the blind, you are correct. Like if something happens or if I lose my balance, this could go into the vehicle, right? So what I do typically, this is my car, right? So I don't give a shit. And plus I know I'm not gonna break anything. But if it was a client that I was working with, then I'd probably cover this with like a dash towel. That way it's covered. So in the event that it does hit the side of the vehicle, it's covered with a towel so that it'll, the goal is to minimize the uh, any any damage. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and bring this up like that. That looks good. So I have two offerings in regards to windshield film. Like I'm offering 50% and a 70%, but I'm offering them in the uh, in the uh, FX and uh, and the FX Plus. So the no the IR FX, excuse me, the IR FX was the first line of ceramic, and then the FX Plus. I'm offering that as well. So the first one, the IRFX, I'm gonna be running, I'm gonna be running that at um I'm gonna be running that at a hundred and or a hundred and eighty-nine, I think, per windshield. And then the FX plus windshields are gonna be in the 375 range. While we're going on with sponsors, let's go ahead and finish it up to our last sponsor. This live stream is also sponsored in part by Solar Effects Window Films. I have a whole spiel for them, but I still have I haven't I haven't run through it enough to memorize it yet. But listen, Solar Effects Window Films is a solid film. If it wasn't a solid film, I wouldn't be using it for my own personal company. Um, but you guys can definitely get some more information on them. Check them out. SolarEffectsWindowFilms.com for more information and to purchase. All right. And last but not least, let's not forget you guys. This live stream is sponsored in part by you guys. Whoop, I just hit the door. <laughs> with, uh, with the power of Super Chat, and donations through the uh, the first link in the description. You guys are able to go ahead and donate to the channel. All donations um, are definitely much appreciated. You saw Daniel Reyna donated earlier. When you do so, your name pops up on the screen. It's you can have a little personalized message, and uh, and uh, and yeah, yeah. It just helps. It helps the channel keep moving, baby.
So that's all cut out. I am cutting out around the center uh, because there is windshield wipers, protectors, and things of that nature. You know what's funny too? Is that I can't stand doing four connects. Especially these front quarter windows. These windows aren't bad, but these front quarter windows are a bitch. <laughs> the irony that I would buy one. I almost didn't buy it because of that, but it's an awesome car, so I bought it anyways. Take this out of the way and plug this here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to run it one more time with the heat gun. I just want to make sure that everything's laid down nice and neat. I like to do that, especially when I hand cut, I like to do that. I'm not doing a crazy shrink, I'm just getting any other, you know, additional fingers that may have occurred while I was hand cutting. And always around the, always around the rear view mirror, I try to make sure it's nice and flat. There's no fingers, there's anything like that, because around the, around the rear view mirror is where you start getting problems, like fingers coming sideways, and you can't shrink a finger side to side, so. All right. Got that taken care of. Now time to clean the inside. Before we do that, let me go ahead and check the chat, see if there's any questions, concerns, shout outs, criticisms. App store. Don't need that, I don't need that. We're still live? We're still good? Yeah, it looks like we're still good. Yeah, I am definitely going to charge more. Well, I'm charging a premium already. I'm charging a lot for my area. <laughs> All right, 19 people in the chat. What's going on, everyone? Welcome, welcome. Happy birthday, 36. Ah, uh, Jaybird, I think you mentioned it was your 42nd recently, right? Happy birthday to you, my friend. Happy birthday to you. All right, don't see any questions here, so we're gonna start working. Use a button, you can use a button. Yeah, maybe I'll use a button. Maybe I'll try and use a button. I don't even want to cut on glass, to be honest, truth be told. That's why I'd just rather buy a plotter. <laughs> All right, I didn't even use this towel. Did I? No, I just put it on me. All right, I need this, I need this, I need this. Um, I'll take this for afterwards. I need this, I need this. I need my tank, which is buried back here. I need it right there. Some stuff around now I probably should be using a silk shield and I probably should be uh, and I probably should be using a dash towel but I'm not um, I don't need to I know I know how much water I use and I know I can manage water very well that way that's why I'm not gonna do that so maybe I should No. 
little water is okay nothing too crazy a lot of water not okay customer's car i'm gonna do it every time just because it's good habit i'm charging them enough for it anyways jesus Opa. that's the one thing about these connects they're so dang deep I really don't even need to clean it that much because it's brand new. It's already clean. Not much dirt. See, and I don't have any drippies. You see that? Like, it's not dripping. It's mo it's mainly it's moist and it suds. And when I hit it with the squeegee. I pretty much I'm taking away most of it right that's why that's why I know I don't really need a, a dash towel or a soak shield some of y'all I've seen some of y'all tent some of y'all need both desperately <laughs> all right coast to coast now overlapping patterns 50% it's a fairly big window yeah fairly big all right clean Imagine like I did this the wrong way and, the, and the, it's the film side up. It's not, but imagine if I did that. So I am going to be reverse rolling it. I can't do my standard like reverse roll um, Frankenstein hybrid. Uh, it just doesn't work in a small confined area like this. So. Right here is where we want to be careful because you've already wet half of it, right? So you don't want like, you don't want to blow off because that liner on the other side in front of the driver right now is like, it could be moved. Let's take this liner and put it over this way. You know what? At least I'm going to be better at reverse rolling cars on the windows because I usually I usually do this on the uh, on the old peel board. All right, so I always go from left to right because I want to unroll from left to right. So I'm going to start rolling here. I start rolling on the bottom corner. Ooh, this stuff is thick. It's nice. So nice and tight. I'll tell you what, I think it's easier to reverse roll on the car than than, uh, <laughs> than on a peel board. It feels a lot better. So I'm gonna roll as far as I can. Then I'm gonna go ahead and lift her up and keep rolling. But now I'm off the car.
Boom. Okay, now I'm gonna leave this right here. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and clean the windshield. That way, I know, like, no, this is just good practice, right? Like, I don't need to do this, but it's, it is good practice. And that way, when I'm installing, if I see something, I don't have to determine whether or not it's, is, oh my gosh, is the, is the battery still going? It didn't beep yet. We're at 15%. All right, hold on. Let's switch the battery real quick. It didn't beep, but... It is a pain in the ass when the battery dies. Hold on. Sorry guys, I thought the battery was gonna like at like one percent, and I don't want to fucking deal with that shit. All right, that should be good right there. Sorry. Back to what I was saying is that like, so when I'm installing this, being able to clean the windshield before I do the installation, I don't have to determine if that's, if that trash, if the trash that I'm looking at, which is normal, it shouldn't be any trash, but if I'm looking at something, I don't have to determine whether it's on the outside or the inside. And, uh, and that's another reason why I love DSP. You just have to wet it down and squeeze it off one time. You're good to go. Dryer sheets take one, two passes. Then you gotta get the, the microfiber towel out. It's just a huge, messy pain in the ass. Nice. And now I'll take my film. Bring it inside. <clears throat> All right. All right, so now, now I don't want to wet the very, very top. I just want to wet everything else. Just enough to get it moist. I don't want drips. And I don't, I want to kind of avoid the very, very top because you could start, uh, you could draw trash down from the top. So that's what we don't want. There we go. Let the reverse roll begin. Now this is where I like to get it like right about here when I would do a Frankenstein. That way, um, that way I know I get the driver pretty much clean. roll as much as I can and then from here I'm gonna go ahead and take the liner off
I'll try to get the right side in. notice I didn't roll it all the way off to the edge I pulled it back a little bit so I can get the edge in there and then slide it in and then down, then I'll close I'll close this area up right here get as much trash as I want oh, not trash much air as I can out double check and make sure that my film is laid down Especially around the mirror. I have no light gaps because it's going to bother the hell out of me. I went good. Good right there. Oh, okay. Wet her down. So I always use a side swipe when doing the first pass of the initial installation. Um, and because I feel like this one gives you a little bit of lenience. It's not like flushing all the water out, but you get the majority of it out. There we go. Because this this front windshield is not like a, like a back window. It doesn't have the frosters, so there's really nothing for the film to hold on to. So I go nice and soft here first with this side. Push all the way to the edge. Oh yeah, that's nice. Hoppa. And then now on this side, I will use my heavier squeegee. On this side, I'll use my heavier squeegee because I know this side's tacked, so I know that this isn't going to drift on me. Then I'll wet it very mildly back on the driver's side. And then now I'll do my power stroke on the driver's side. Because remember, I only use the side swipe, right? So there's still a fair amount of moisture that's still in here. So now I'm pushing out this. I'm getting out the majority of the moisture. Get the power stroke in. Call this the power stroke. Fucking gorgeous installation. There's a little fucking something out here. I don't know what's going on there. I'm gonna take a card now. And bump the edges. I got a little something right here, and I don't know if it's like the film is bumping up on something, but it keeps popping up. Looks like hitting it with that helped. Sometimes you'll hit something with the film and then all you have to do is take an awful knife and just cut it, slit it, and basically release it. So now I'm just bumping all the edges. 
all the edges. That way you get all that excess moisture out of there. And if you see a finger on your first strike pass with the side swipe, don't like freak out too much about it because there's gonna be excess moisture in there and you're just gonna wanna get that out later. Like you'll get that out later with the power stroke. So don't trip too much that like a finger keeps popping up. Just do the, trust the process, go through the process. And then at the end, usually if you shrunk right at the beginning, at the end, you'll just have to um, hit it with a dry towel and a microfiber towel and a, and a card to bump it. Oh my god, these decks are so big! something right there all right I'm get, get this out of here take a look Woo! <laughs> she looks good she looks so good I need to get uh the laundry basket so that I can get all the dirty towels away. So now I'm going to use my old uh, reach and clean tool. This is from the invisible glass video that I made. I really do use this shit. <laughs> Some people think I make videos about this and I never use it. Most of the time I use, I, I make videos on things that I like and do. If I don't like a product, then I'm not going to review it. The only time I would say that is if like I do my tech videos for like a GoPro or something like that because those are just stupid amounts of views and that just helps the channel. I'm going to take a towel here and wet this up. Alright, let's take a look. Take a close look. Did it etch the glass? Did it etch the glass? Glass is soft. I mean, realistically, if I if I looked close enough, I probably could see an etch in the glass. Maybe I don't see it. But if I look close enough, I probably could find it. But like, if some guy is an inch from my damn van, <laughs> you know, talking about the etch, then he's too damn close to my van, anyways. Get the hell away from my van. All right, I'm gonna take this phone because this is connecting the live stream. I'm gonna take this phone because this is, has the chat in it. All right, I'm gonna back this van up a little bit so I can clean this out before we do the doors. I wanna flip the car back around, but then we can kind of take a look and see what the uh, end result looks like. I guess I don't have automatic windows on my passenger side. Passenger door. Passenger door door. There's the big brother from Ford Connect. There she is right there, the transit right there, the big brother. I couldn't get that. Just so you know. And then I was lucky that I got this. I was surprised I got this actually, truth be told. Let's take a look outside. Oh, that looks good. 30% is good. I thought I saw a line, but that's on the outside. It's from the squeegee in. 
clean 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 and there's no like dots from the dot matrix which is a, a real trip maybe the the dots is between the glass let's take a look on the inside <sighs> yeah oh got a little bit of a finger right here let's see it come on card where are you card kind of hard to see a black card it's around here somewhere. oh I dropped it right there I dropped it right there it's a little moisture there's a little moisture down in this area but not too bad I got no complaints oh there literally is like This whole window looks perfect. There's like a little speckle here and there's like one little speck right here. <laughs> Dead center of the driver, but it's all right. That's why you look through it. You don't look at it. That's one thing too. People start tripping out about this shit. They're like, it needs to be fucking perfect, blah, blah, blah. I can see this and that. I'm like, yo, you don't look at it. You look through it. That's why I think auto is way harder than flat because flat glass, the, the, uh, the allowable limit is like you got to be standing six feet away from the glass and you got to be looking through the glass i'll tell you what that 30 bucks nasty ah that's gonna be good i'm excited for that i just want to move some couple things out of the way because i gotta get i gotta get her big ass in here pretty far back here And she looks good now. She's gonna look a lot better with the 15 on the sides. This is 30, and it doesn't look as dark as my dude that my dude that I did the windshield with. Like, okay, here, look at this. You see this one? You see that? That's 30 with nothing on the sides. Let's take a look at this car. This is my old lady's car. Well, my car technically, but she, yeah. She, I put 15 over the factory and 15 in the front, and I put 50 on the windshield. And this looks way darker. So you're you're talking about? Hey, how you doing? Question. Yes. The back window on my Chevy Cruze. I Chevy think it's Cruise? on the heat. Yeah. It's all bubbled. Okay. How much do you charge to retent? What year is it? Uh, 14. 2014. Okay. So um, for the back window, 2014, that, that you're like right at the cusp. So window film has like a six year lifespan after which it starts to get real brittle. Um, so you're right at the limit where your your film could potentially need to be scraped off with a winch with a razor blade, and at that point you're going to lose your defrosters. Oh, oh no! Yeah, oh. yeah. I live with the bubbles, <laughs> and it just it just happened last summer because I think it was just so hot. They yeah, just all I, I'm conf I'm confident here. You, it, what what you're seeing right there is is, is an adhesive failure. So the the film has a uh, as a, a an adhesive side, right? And the adhesive is starting to release, right? So that's what you're seeing. Okay. Um, can now, it be scraped out? I'm confident that it can, but I gotta tell you that it's like right at that limit. And once the process starts, there's no going back. Okay, forget oh. it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't want to. Uh, I was, How much would it be? If she did it um, for a full car, it's typically two, three fifth. Full car, just the back, just the back window. Yeah, just the um, off the top of my head, a third of two hundred, which is like seventy. Seventy to tint. It's seventy to tint it, and I I'd probably say ballpark figure probably fifty to hundred. Fifty if I if I don't have to scrape it. hundred if I have to scrape it because it's gonna yeah, take. It just takes time. Right. Yeah, and then right. let me know. I'm in I'm in nine and I'm in I, ten. Every so time I drive by, you're never around. <laughs> I there you go. I said, I don't have I'm here. Car, so I'm here now. Car. I'm here now. Don't worry. Uh, yeah, so I got a second garage now and other stuff. So I'm in 9 and 10. So if you ever see me, feel free to stop by. Say, I mean, don't do it during the week. I don't. Uh, not right now. I am. I'm actually transitioning to start doing it throughout the week as okay, well. I'm let you run a business in this garage? Um, I'm actually mobile. So I, the garage is just basically to hold my my uh, my work van. So most of the time I'm mobile. Like I just go out to my clients' Good. houses. It, but because you know my friend, yeah, had a garage in front of me. Yeah, and he had his his garage was in St. Pete. 
Oh. He lived right here. Okay, so okay. So he had his garage set up. He had all his tools and whatnot. And he would do some work in there. And somebody reported him. Ah. Oh. That he was running a mechanical. And business. he was only working on his car. Was he wasn't working on anyone else's car. Oh. See, the mechanics, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure you need like special licensing for to be a mechanic. But he wasn't doing anybody. I just put plastic on glass. I you see know. what I'm saying? It's a little well, different. You know I'm just saying. To I appreciate it. No, no, I definitely. Reported, this was like two years ago, mm -hmm. Kevin. He was a great guy. Uh, and somebody reported him. Some people just want to see and the he world says, burn. This is not my business. This is my hobby. I'm home. This is my personal. This is my car. Right. My business that I own is in St. Pete. Right. I hope, hopefully, he got off and. Oh, he, he left. Oh, he, poor bastard. He left. He left. He moved out. And, gave up the garage it was terrible somebody, oh. somebody and he i live right in front of him you never heard anything he never bothered anybody oh. so i'm just i appreciate the I'm heads up 13 years. i keep it i keep a shh i keep a shush i'm here 13 years well let me know think about it and right. we'll talk yeah. and you, you know where to find me you. watch it watch your left watch your left now you go thank you of course appreciate it brother sorry I hate it when people like like that ask me because I'm not like I have my prices set up but then now I have to break down like what I'm gonna do for like just a back window and then I gotta break down removal costs and things of that nature because I charge a pretty penny for removal I normally charge I would probably I would charge 300 so yeah a hundred dollars for a back window if I have to scrape it most of the time it's gonna be fine but there are there are chances where like I'm gonna have to scrape the fucking thing and um, and then she just needs to know that you know she needs to know that so see any questions I uh, clearly I didn't plan for some random person to stop me and ask me questions about window tints so I guess you guys could get a chance to see how I how I work with clients see if there's any questions here. Oh no, don't call me. Hey old man. What are you doing? I'm uh I'm tinting the van. Oh you are? Yeah, I'm just I got the windshield done. I just gotta do the two fronts. I probably got like maybe another hour or so. You still what do we gotta do? Gotta cut your hair and then do what? Put the lights in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let me finish up these two windows and um and then I'll be right I'll give you a call, I'll be right over. Okay. All right. All right. Thank God, no call. I should probably move this to do not disturb. No, I don't want to fuck with it. Call came in. It didn't drop the, the live stream. We're good. We're good. Uh, sorry, I was catching up on the questions. Uh, Patrick, what's the code for the dry shrink prep? It should be WTB online. And that should give you a 15% code. A 15% off code. Paranoid somebody ratted. <laughs> now I'm not really worried. Um, actually, the the the, the uh, complex knows that I've done work in the other garage when I was doing tinting in there. They knew. Hell, I had a sign that said window tinting up. So it is what it is. But I think mechanics have like a they 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 have like special licenses that they have to do because they work with like oil and and and, and like fuel starters and like chemical stuff, flammable stuff, dangerous shit. I just put plastic on glass, you know. So. The old China film back window, right? Get it, Pat. I love when you get stopped randomly. It makes me rethink all your next steps and gives you more confidence moving forward throughout the day. Ain't that the truth, baby? Ain't that the truth? Yes, button glass aid. Glass aid works. Cutting regularly works. Whatever works for you, do it. Everyone has different methods. That's, see, that's what I'm saying, Bryson. That's what I'm saying, baby. Looks sick. Yeah, yeah. See, yeah, and you're right. Um... Land of the Blind says a BMW Custy would like pull out the magnifying glass. I have, I do, um, I have conversations because I can tell the super picky, the super OCD. Like you, you, once you do business and you work with clients long enough, you can tell off the rip who are, who are going to be the big pain in the asses, right? So 
I um, I have a very serious. The second someone says something in the frames of make sure it's perfect, or and they're not they're not being nasty, right? But they're like, oh, make sure it's perfect, ha ha, like joking around but being serious, like passive aggressively telling me, whoa, dang, Maddie, I think I just got you, bro. Did you hear that? <laughs> My I get I get linked on the uh, Matthew Hazelwood who was actually watching the live stream. He got the uh, starter set, dry string prep starter set. Then he used a discount code WTB online. Saved himself 15%, brother. Welcome to the welcome to the Thunderdome, bitch. <laughs> You're gonna love it, man. You're gonna love it. Thank you, Matt. Appreciate it. Nah. Okay. Ah, <sighs> let's keep working. Let's keep going, baby. Let's keep going. We're doing good. Okay, with these ones, these ones are a little crazy. Uh, so the point of what I was saying before I got stopped here is that that windshield is 50 and this windshield is 30. So what you're gonna see is that once I put the 15 on, because everything else is closed, I don't have any windows in the back, no windows on the side, I'm really, really restricting the amount of light that, that's able to get into the vehicle. So this 30 is gonna look a lot darker than that windshield over there. So, um, and it's funny. When my neighbors see me talking and I'm like on a GoPro and stuff like that, it looks like I'm psycho and I'm talking to myself. <laughs> Maybe they'll leave me alone. <laughs> oh, these rubber seals suck. I'm going to probably try to get a straight line right here on this one and cut in better here because these, these rubber liners right here, they're, they get so thin right here at the edge that I'm afraid I'm going to slice. Ah, fuck it. I'll do it. I'll be fine. If I cut it, I cut it. All right. Okay, 40 inch done on the 30. Let's see here. This is the 15. And again, this is all the XR Plus. Uh, two fronts on the XR Plus. Jesus, I can't remember what my price points were for two fronts. Two fronts on XR Plus is not cheap. It's like, it's like $200. <laughs> I don't know. I'm charging $700 for a car for XR Plus. So, like, just the two fronts? Yeah, it would be pretty penny. Like I said, this windshield, if this windshield was going on a vehicle, it would be just shy of four, 400 So, I'm pricing myself accordingly. And I do that on purpose. Like, I don't want... Okay, th like, that lady was nice, right? The lady was super nice, right? But I, I don't want to be scraping back windows. I don't, I don't enjoy that. That's not fun for me, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna do that. But if I happen to do that, I'm not gonna tell people no, but if I happen to do that, I'm gonna price it accordingly so that, um, so that um, at least if I have to do something I don't wanna do, at least I'm getting paid for it, so. Um, let's see if a 20 incher will work. We, we just worked with a 40 incher on the front windshield. So now, let's check and see if a 20 incher will work. That's what I love about 20s, right? Ooh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be real close. Nah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take the 40 inch and bring it sideways, bring it down sideways. Yeah, because then at least I'll have enough to cover. I have a little bit of waste. Will I have enough to cover the quarter? I might, if I do a 40 sideways, I might have enough. So this window is 20 to the top of the sill, right? But I'm afraid that it's not gonna reach the top. So I'm gonna pull down 23. 23 and a 40. Let's hope I don't cut myself this time. I love that the first time I ever handled this film and I get cut. <laughs> Okay, so this is the side they chopped from, which means that this is the true factory edge. 
I'm gonna try to keep this one to that to that one side on the right. And I got the 60 the 60 inch roll cut down um, because I find it much more versatile, right? If you, I mean, but some people can't afford it. And if you can't afford it, just get a 40 incher and cut that puppy down. But if you can't afford it, get a 60 inch and cut it down. Now I prefer a 40, 20 split. Some people like a, um, a 38, 22. Some people like a 36, 24. So it's really up to you. Like realistically, if I had that at a 38, 22 cut, that'd probably be, I'd probably be way more efficient, right? Because 22 would definitely reach this. And then 38 would definitely reach this. But some windshields, you do need the 40, right? So it's like, it's better to cover all your bases, in my opinion. With the 22 inches. This shelf right here is pretty freaking solid. Twenty two inches. And what I need, I need is like my I usually have like a letter opener, like a like a like a ninety-nine cent letter opener and it's fucking perfect. Alright, before I do that, I'm gonna make sure I get my scrub, clean these windows real quick. Do my normal process. So a little close to the wall so I have something here I don't know if these are supposed to be like you know these little plastic edge guards that like are supposed to be for like they're supposed to stay there for cars what I do is I'll just put them right here at the edge of cars especially if I'm working in this garage because it's so small I'll just throw it on just like that right where the door is gonna connect and then that way if I open it I know there's a little bit of rubber there and I don't have to worry about me dinging it up. Ding, ding, ding. No, close, close. Ooh, just trying to turn my phone on and connect my phone. Don't connect my phone. Oh, Matt Hazelwood just used it at Chicago Auto Pros. Okay, so you were at the training program over there with Matt that was just there last week. Hell yeah, good. L liked it, smelled great too. Yeah, that's a uh, blue cotton candy. That's what it smells like. Um, Land of the Blind asked if I'm doing de dealership or retail. Uh, I'd like to go all retail just because dealerships always want a discount, right? But I can't like, I can't just throw away business because I'm a brand new business, right? So I'm, I don't have the, I don't have the swag yet to be like, yeah, you know what? No, no, thank you. Right? Because some money is better than no money. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend because I'm doing a 15% off for all military and first responders. Thank you, a uh, big shout out to uh, to Martin Fowler for that one. I stole that directly from him. <laughs> uh, but um, I'm gonna do that. And I think, and then what, what I would suggest is that like, just offer that to, to people. When, when someone asks if they're gonna get a discount for retail, I'll be like, yeah, I'll, I can extend you the, the same discount I give uh, uh, first responders and um, and whatnot and that way that way I don't lose too much because I don't want to lose a lot and you know and I know I'll get hit with the uh, with the old like oh yeah but so-and-so can do it for cheaper 
and that's fine but i don't want i'm not in the game to to race to zero i'm in the game to make money and make a profit for myself right so if someone doesn't understand and there's there, there there's people there's two types of people there are people that are going to understand and the people that are not going to understand and there are people out there that are not going to understand like people don't understand why people spend two hundred thousand dollars uh on a ferrari right people don't understand that why would you spend two hundred thousand when you can have a honda for twenty five thousand well they don't understand it they don't understand that the, the, the it's worth the value to them it's worth the money to them like there's a, a certain status with with a high price and a high range right and that's what i'm going to be offering to people i'm going to be offering i'm not going to be i'm not the cheapest um, but i'm going to be offering a quality product and, and a quality installation the only thing i got to remember is that lumar the liner is on the inside so like and i keep i, I don't i don't mind keep i, I don't mean to keep bringing them up but like i've used them for so long you know what i mean like it's that's that's the that's the reality that i gotta get, that I gotta get used to um and so this film the liner's on not on the outside okay so i am gonna just get past there try to bring it up a little bit and bring it forward right there I'm going to try to save some of this and see if I can use some of this space for over here. So let's do it. it by like a quarter of an inch so I'm gonna recut this one Not enough. We're just going to dump it. Normally don't bring it down, but I am going to bring it down just a hair. Weirdly rotated. that I might actually have a light gap we'll see I 
have so much room. Opa. I have so much room. Let me go ahead and do this over again. That way I can eliminate that light gap. Like this corner right here is a little weird. I followed it and then I'm following the straight line. But like, I think I'm gonna have a notch right here. So I'm gonna bring it down a little lower. So I know that I'm covered. There we go. This notch right here is a little weird. So I'm just gonna leave it right there. I'm gonna have to tuck a little bit more, but it is what it is. This film cuts real nice. This film cuts real nice. South Country. See, this is me just taking my time. Like, there are some cats out there that can go really quick. Number one, I don't hand cut. Number two, my brand new car. Number three, I haven't used this film ever, right? So, I'm in no rush. And that's how I like to work. I'd rather get paid a lot for one car and then just take my time doing that one car than getting paid a little for a lot of cars and then I'm forced to do some serious volume. So I'm not gonna go straight to a point because there is a little bit of a curve here so I'm just gonna notch that corner out just like that, boom. This corner is pretty much going straight, so I'm going to follow it there. Especially if someone's paying you a few hundred dollars or seven hundred dollars to tint their car, there's a certain amount of expectancy of being diligent. And this is the notch I was talking about. This one right here. You see that notch? A little strange. I'm just going to smooth that out because you're not going to see it. No one's going to see it. Just like that. If y'all think I'm taking a long time for this, just wait until I do the quarters. That's probably gonna take me a while. So 
So these Fords do have felt liners, so I'm trying to not like disturb the felt too much. And it's not no felt liner, just felt liner. So I probably could have like taped it, but I'm confident that I won't. We'll see. There's my shank, there's my shank. Film is a little more tacky than I'm used to, so I just have to adjust my uh, my slip solution ratio slightly. Because I tucked it so deep, because I was trying to hide that notch, I'm gonna tuck it a little bit more. No big deal. So I had to adjust it slightly. That's why you see that finger right there. The front side just slightly needs to be un under removed. At least that notch is hidden now. So what I'm gonna have to do Forgot about the badass scratch resistant coating. Woo! Don't have to fucking trade out tri edges every five fucking minutes. I'm gonna have to bring this slide, slide this up a little bit because I got the finger in here. Good.
Yeah, that was nice. And truth be told, when I was cutting this, this is a weird cut, right? I Right here, so it curves up, right? And then right here, where this straight line starts to curve up, that's where I should have stopped my cut. I kept going on that curve line. So then that's why I had that wonky little thing and I had to adjust it. So next time, I'm gonna stop it right here. Then I'll finish the lines and then curve it and intersect it. Not too shabby, Abby. That was good. That was good. All right, let's start doing this bitch. How are we doing so far? Are we moving at a slow enough pace for you guys? Or is it too slow? God, we still got 17 people in the lineup. What's up, everyone? Oh man, I tried the Bondo cards. I tried everything. The, the tri edges are the best cards for, especially if you have film that is sensitive or has a shit scratch coating. All right, moving on. So this one is weird because they, these are really, really tight and I don't want to trim this. So I'm about an eighth of an inch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this side and this side and actually bring it an eighth of an inch this way. So I show this line right here and that way I'm going to be pretty dang close. I don't want to like, or maybe I just cut it exact. I'll just try to shove it up in there. We'll see. Come on, come on. Hand down to my wrist. That works. Half of it should be good. What the hell was that sound? Some drop? Is it the, the hose? I have no idea what the, Oh, it was the hose that was whipping around and hit, and hit the box. I've never heard that sound before. I'm gonna follow my instincts and take it about an eighth off. Even when we do this stuff at the shop, these cars at the shop, we're still a pain in the ass. We still have to hand cut them.
I really hope I can knock this out the first time because these windows are a pain in the ass. First, I want to loosen up these seals. That's what I like to do right there. Loosen them up so I can get back in there. And I find that this helps, especially when you're getting water in there. God, these ones are a pain in the ass. I mean, I minimize. 
realized that there's barely any gap. So I couldn't, it wasn't wanting to tuck in at the bottom. So what I did is I made it flush on the bottom and then pushed everything else up. Let's try this one more time here. See, I thought I was already an eighth past, but I wasn't. That's why the bottom wasn't tucking because I didn't have the top all the way up there. And I'm happy with that. Ah, uh, fuck. Fuck that window. And you're gonna run into windows like that, you know? That's like, just part of the game. Where like, you run into a certain car that just like, totally fucks your whole like, mojo up. Like, why can't you put, why can't you put a dot matrix around there? Right? It'll take me four and a half seconds to tint that fucking thing. No, you gotta be fucking difficult. Put no dot matrix, shove a little bit of it down to the fucking bottom. Yeah. So what I did there is I put an eighth of an inch. I cut it, this round curve, and then dropped it down about an eighth of an inch. And basically cut it to fit. And it's fucking perfect now. And if I didn't do that, I'd have to shove it up, up in there even more. And it's really, really tight in there. Really tight in there. There we go. Good. All right, a few hours later and <laughs> the driver's done. I think it might have taken me longer to do this than the fucking front window. <laughs> ah, she's looking good though. She's looking real good. How we doing so far? How we doing everybody? Does the film have a bluish tint? I can't see it, it looks charcoal to me. And it could be the, uh, it could be the, uh, the color from the GoPro that it like, cause it like, it balances color, but, uh, I think it looks good. I mean, you guys can see right there, there's a blue sky. I mean, you are looking at it on a blue sky. Maybe that's it. I don't know. There's the sky. There's the tent. Y'all tell me. All right. That one done. Put that towel there. You know what I'll do too. If you have these bags that the uh, the film wraps gets wrapped up in, you can always just tie one side. And now you got a trash bag.
one, yeah. Here's a sample of the film against against here. Oh, it looks pretty charcoal to me. Maybe a hint of green. Like a dark olive green, maybe? No, but like it's not like super noticeable. A little charcoal -y. I it more it looks more charcoal to me than than I don't see a blue or a green here. Almost done. I think what I want to do, I want to park the car a little closer to the left side, to the uh, to the left side, so I can give myself a little more room. My lights are on. Step one, always turn, always turn the lights off. I'll tell you what, Lumar, if I would've done that shit with Lumar, that would've scratched faux show. Always have a jump box. Yeah, yeah, I need a jump box. Now, it really doesn't matter mobile, right? Because it's here. <laughs> This gives me a little bit more room. Fresh towel out. Ah, I'm getting a partition installed. Because the idea is, well, I'll get a partition to separate the, the cabin from the cargo area because I'm gonna have stuff back here, like a, a like a tank and my tools and all kinds of other shit. And the guy told me, if you get hit from behind going 30, whatever's in your cargo is gonna hit you at 30. And I'm like, all right, I don't want that. So I'm gonna put a partition that's gonna separate it. And then the plan is that I wanna put shelving right here, 40 inch shelving right here. So I can put 40 inch boxes of window film here. And then I'm gonna see what I can do about squeezing a plotter right here. It's gonna be it's gonna be a tight fit and uh, and I'm still kind of like on the fence in regards to the shelving right here because of the plotters here it's gonna take a good amount of space and I can't have the shelving here and have two inches right so I think what I'm gonna do is I possibly might put try to put shelving up against the partition maybe I don't know because then I still need to have enough room let me see here where's I need to have enough room to, to slide a 72 inch box in here. That's uh, the biggest box film comes in. Let's see, where's this door close? Oh, I got it all the way back here. Oh, there's plenty of room. Plenty of room, so. The partition will probably go right there. I don't know. We're going to have to see. I want to squeeze in a, a, a plotter in here. So we're going to have to play around with that and see what we can do.
you what though, that windshield looks sick. How you doing? Power on the battery going. 35%. Not bad. Oh my god. So I hit myself with my tri edge that's in my hand, and I totally thought I hit myself with an open blade. Like in the fucking face. Probably should have cleaned this window off before I fucking start cutting on the goddamn thing. I feel it's gritty.
Hopefully I'm not getting too close so you guys can't see what the hell I'm doing. That edge guard. Where's that edge guard? There you are. I once, I had a, I had a uh, Transit Connect come in once. It was either Transit or Transit Connect. It was pretty much the same car, just different size. And uh, I did try to remove the door panel once from that, and it just, it didn't really work out very well for me. <laughs> So last time I put the top in first, this time I'm going to put the bottom in first. So I have that shit lined up. And then slide the top in to follow. much better way to do this. Uh, come on, get in there. That's fucking beautiful. That's beautiful right there. I got a little bit of trash in there, but nothing. Nothing I can't handle. Nothing I can't take care of. This, like I said, what do I say to my clients? There's a certain level of expectation. It's not going to be a perfect job. I'm going to do my best, but.
a couple of specks in there, but I can live with it. Until I figure out a way to take this fucking glass out completely to do a perfect window tint installation, I ain't gonna fucking worry about it. Twenty two inches. I'm just gonna trim her up a little bit. Okay, what I learned last time from this, right? Is that once it goes straight, I'm gonna stop by the time it curves. Same thing here, so I wanna stop about here. And then I'll finish up those lines afterwards. Curve this up right there. Stop right there. I went jagged a bit on this last one. I should have stopped here because this film lifts because it's overlapping here. Like I brought it way too far, so I cut into it a little bit. So I'm gonna have to clean up that line a little bit. So, but notice like I don't go all the way to the corner. 
and I'll go all the way to the corner because then you'll get fucked up lines. Just back off about an inch, inch and a half, and uh, and you'll be fine. You you can you can finish off those lines with a straight edge or just eyeball it, and you should be good. I usually keep the crack big enough that I can put my fingers through there, right there, because that way I can hold it while I squeegee. So let's fix this line first. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm not gonna cut a straight line, I'm just gonna go right below it. Shave it a little bit, clean it up. Should be nice, should be good. Don't forget the top right here, this curves just a little bit, it's not straight. So, this line I'm going to curve it just a little bit at the very end after I cut it. Should do it. That should do nicely. Okay. This crazy corner, I'll wait for the end. So this crazy corner, like I said, I just wanted to hit the straightaways before they start curving. Because if I do that when I'm shifting the film, they'll, they'll cross paths um, at different points. And you'll have a gap like I did over there. So, keep it straight. Like that. This one like that. I'm gonna just curve this puppy. Like that. Beautiful. Let's install it, let's finish it up. Home stretch.
This is where everyone messes up. Like the last window. Like I could be done in less than 10 minutes tinting at least. But if I mess this up, I have to recut this whole window again. Just take your time. First one, last one. It doesn't matter. You're being compensated for your time. Unless you're doing your own car. Then you just want it to look good. I got this one with a little bit more room than the driver's side. The driver's side's like just covering. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna change the battery after I do this install. I don't want to stop in the middle of the install. I'll tell you what though, this shank. Very much impressed with this shank. Like I said, not many tools. I try all the tools that come out, but not many tools make it into my EDC. And the shank definitely did, especially now that I'm going mobile and on my own, because it didn't really work. It, I, it didn't really work for me at the shop and loots because um, I was primarily doing back windows while my guy was doing the others, other windows. So it was very, very rarely, except for like on Mondays when I do live streams from that shop, did I actually like install front windows. And that was a deal that I made with him when he first got there, just out of respect, because he's, you know, he's, in, he's been tinting for 30 something years. And when you get old, you don't want to be climbing in the back of seats, right? And I didn't want him to fucking crap out on me after two cars, because he had to fucking load a back window. So I told him, I said, listen, you do, You do all the side windows, I'll do all the back windows. That way, and then let's work together. Very nice. Clean it off. All right, let me switch batteries and then we can go ahead and I'll pull this puppy out so we can take a look at it in the sun. Cause it's fucking dark in this garage.
100% battery. Yeah, it's definitely like, I'm pretty sure it was definitely the charger that I was using before at the shop. Like the block of it, like this is an actual iPhone block. The block of this thing was just some generic crap that I saw somewhere laying about. Come on. I'm gonna get my hat on properly. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on properly. Back on my face. Boom. Boom. Let's go ahead and pull her out. Let me take a look at her in the sun. Yes. Yeah, see now look at that front. Now you look at that with the 15 on the on the um on the sides and that looks fucking murdered out. That looks really good. 15 on the sides. Still gives you a little bit of privacy, but I didn't want to like murder it out. You know what I mean? Like the front looks murdered out, but like the sides are okay. Like you can still see me as if I'm in, but like You'd have to be looking real close, right? God, that looks sick. Look how good that looks. Woo! They ain't ready for me now. They ain't ready. <laughs> they ain't ready. Uh, all right, guys, let's see what we got here. Let's do some of uh, this last minute Q&A stuff. And let's see what you, if you guys have any questions, concerns, shout outs. Tell me guys what you think, what you like, what you don't like. Charcoal! Yeah, okay, so while I'm waiting for the questions to come in, um, if there is any, what are my thoughts in regards to this film? First time using this film. Now again, this is the, this is the FX Plus. This is the top of the line, best ceramic that I'm offering here. Windshields are gonna be at like 370 uh, sides. Two fronts are gonna be I think in the 200 range, has to be in the 200 range. Um, but this looks nasty. Uh, the film, it, it, uh, it's, it's gonna take a little bit to get used to. It's definitely not like Lumar's film in regards to um, how it shrinks, but Lumar shrinks like butter and I'll, you know, I'll give credit where credit's due. But, um, but I think that's pretty much the only, <laughs> the only thing, right? Uh, Solar effects has a really solid warranty warranty uh, policy which and and I don't even think I'm gonna ever use it or need it um, the color looks good the installations good it took a little bit longer to shrink but I don't know if it's because it's the first time I'm using it I'm tinting on my brand new first car that uh, I'm using a Wagner heat gun instead of the regular one so there's a lot of there's a lot of um, parameters that have changed from my norm right so and I try to keep a very consistent process that way you get an end up getting a consistent result did a little something right there heat that out uh, my blowtorch is in the other car Turn my turn those off. There's a little bit of a ow. A 
there's a little bit of a not a bubble but like yeah kind of like a bubble this is my blowtorch my butane blowtorch no more than five seconds any more than five seconds you're gonna burn the rubber or overheat the glass you're not gonna break it but look five seconds is more than enough the fucker's gone same thing right here one two three four five Yeah, I'm fucking happy with this shit. This looks so good. Hey! Oh, did you get a second garage? They want to charge me $50 a month just to carry this thing. What's that? The... Because it's a commercial vehicle? They're like, okay, it's going to be 50 a month. I said, what? Who I said, to charge you that? The, the, the apartment complex, because it's not a regular vehicle. It's a, it's a commercial vehicle. So they're like, oh. yeah. And I'm like, for that, back up, park right there, we'll talk. I said, for that much, I might as well get a garage and, and cover it and protect it. Yeah. And then, and then I said, you know what? And I put my fucking foot in my mouth and I said, you know what? At this point, um, there was a garage right next door to my garage that was available and I should have taken it then, and, but I'm not going to get another garage unless it's right next to mine. Right. And they're like, oh, there's one next to you. I was like, fuck. <laughs> and then I put my foot in my mouth. So I'm like, but at least I, I was wondering, you said it was sitting. I drove up here the other day or something and you said it was sitting up here. And I'm going, the fuck is this van at <laughs> it was out for a day oh, okay. it was out for a day and i put part of it over there but uh but at least now i have have like if someone like doesn't i can bring it back in here so she i just finished uh, putting 30 on the windshield and 15 on the sides oh, okay. to murder that thing out i'm just i'm just finishing up right now that's fine i'll be over to the garage you over there yeah. okay Say hi to everyone. Everyone say hi. This is my father-in-law, Danny. Hello. I'm live streaming right now. Oh, what that, that's creepy. <laughs> um, I just got to clean up and put everything back in. So I should be there maybe, maybe 10 minutes or something. I'm going to go wash my hands and then come back up. Start wiping her down. And up the yeah, I came in. So. Cool. All right, cool. Yeah, I saw that video he sent. I'm like blown away. How, I'm still blown away how good these lights like, are. Oh, mine. Look, look, look. We can plug it in right here and we can set it right here. There you go. The, Right there, so yeah. it's right there. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. Perfect. All right, I'll be over in like 10 minutes. Ah, my father-in-law. He didn't know I got a second garage. I kept telling him that I got a garage. It was in the garage or I'm working by the garage. And I'm gonna put all my stuff away. goes back over here back over here I'm just gonna do it like this real quickly all right let's do some last minute questions Q&A's and then I'll go ahead and shut down the live stream let's see no, I think that's it I think that's it All right, guys, so at this time, I'm gonna go ahead and shut her down. Um, let me go ahead and do this here for you. Whoop. Put my hat back on here. But, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the live stream at this point. Thank you very much for those guys who are watching. Thanks again to our sponsors. 
Uh, TintWiz, check them out at TintWiz.com. DSP, check them out, DryShrinkPrep.com. And Solar Effects Window Films. You can check them out, SolarEffectsWindowFilms.com. This vehicle is done now. It was a good one. Um, it's mine now. So that was fun. I think it looks good. I think it's, I'm really, really excited about, about this, uh, this move and what everything that we're doing. Keep in mind uh, that I'm gonna have the Tuesday night live stream, so go check it out from my studio back in my house. Um, so don't forget to check in on that, 9 p.m. Got some big announcements coming up um, that I'm gonna be announcing, and then we're launching very, very soon. We're about a week out, so I'm really excited. Thank you guys very much. For those of you guys who, who super chatted, Daniel Reyna, thank you very much for supporting, and I will see y'all on the next one. Thanks again, guys. And then now, now I gotta switch over here and uh, switch you guys over. And end.